Did he just shoot a fire Hydukan? And so I shall. Hadouken! <laughs> huh. But anyway. Oh, okay. I mean, lot, there we go. It's like, let me loot him first. Nope. No, not me. There we go. Now, now we'll go ahead. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, an ogre. Great. Hello, big boy. <laughs> I am. Oh my gosh, these guys are going down like one hit. Okay. Let's get my wolf out here. Hey, Wolvie. Hmm. Or Bigby. Maybe I'll call him Bigby. <laughs> Time for more dark spot, I see. What in the world? Look at that thing! Look at this thing they have here! A bear? A what? A bearish scarn? What's that thing called? like a mutant bear. What the heck was that? Huh. Okay, uh... Oh, that thing's gone now. Huh. It dissolved and turned into a puddle of blood. Couldn't even look at it again. Or really see what, what it was called. Nug Crusher. Yikes. Uh, down the hole and into the deep. I don't even want to imagine where that leads. Huh. The door is barricade from the other side. Uh, yep, down we go. Dark spawn tunnels. Oh, wonderful. Just perfect. <laughs> go sip of water. Backstab. Ooh, what's in here? Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh. Ah, get him off me! Ah, ah. Oh my gosh, I hate that. That's my least favorite part about this, when, when those giant spiders, like, get all over you like a, like a like when a, a mabari does oh i hate that i hate that so much oh man spiders why did it have to be spiders <laughs> yes for indiana jones it's snakes for me it's spiders Oh boy, webs. I bet there are more. In there. Yep, there are. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh good, Alistair leveled up. All right, let's see what we can do with his strength. Thirty-one now. Oh, level twelve. We need for that. Oh, he's only level 11. Wow. Shield wall over power. Shield wall is actually pretty good. Hmm. So, yeah, shield wall is now the, like, the, the default for that. Yeah, he doesn't act he actually doesn't have that many abilities. Hmm. Yep. So 
waiting around part is awesome. Ha. Another rune. Oh gosh. Some body wrapped up in webbing. Ugh. This is like a worst nightmare scenario for me, seeing stuff like this. Giant spiders with webs everywhere with, with bodies wrapped up in webbing. Ugh. Get him, Mikey! There we go. Got him. Got him. Hold on a second. Let me check. Uh, is he still not able to equip the shield yet? Oh, no, he can. Oh, he can equip the shield. There we go. Now he's got the uh, Kalen shield and Marek's blade. Very nice. Next time he levels up, I'll be able to give him more strength, and maybe he'll be able to wear Kalen's armor set then. That's the way out. Oh boy, I bet there's more spiders in here. I have done it. Uh-huh. Yes, there are. Oh boy. Good job out there. Get him, boo-boo. No. Hang on out there. There we go. We got him. We got him. Uh. I don't even like Oh my gosh, more. They're everywhere! No! There we go, we got them. Oh, man. I hate that. <laughs> uh, my least favorite enemies in this game. Giant spiders. Yeah, you know how some people just have, like, irrational phobias or fears of things? Yes. For some people, it's things like sharks, which I do fear, but uh, spiders is probably, like, maybe number one up there for me. <laughs> Auto save. Okay. Let's get my wolf out I here while it's autosaving. Smell the flowers and adore the sunshine. What? What in the world did, did my dwarf just say? <laughs> that was kind of funny. Oh boy. Wait, this is like the battlefield. Yeah, the bridge is up there. This is where they fought. Yep. Now we're re having flashbacks to that day. Oh, look at that! That's the ogre that killed Kalen and that Duncan killed. You can tell because Duncan's sword and dagger are still in its uh, in its uh, chest. Oh no, it's back. Well, you know what? That's fine with me. I'm this just gives us another opportunity to avenge Kalen and Duncan. Take that! care of these guys here and then we'll focus on him over there. He just keeps bringing them back up. Huh. A necromancer. He's taken down. There we got him. <laughs> One last corpse. <laughs> okay. Well first off let's go check out this ogre. 
Look at that. Duncan's dagger and Duncan's sword. Wow. Damage versus dragons. Wow. Dexterity, willpower, cunning, stamina regeneration, combat. Damage versus dark spawn. That's fantastic. This plain and simple longsword, unhammered yet of the finest craftsmanship, brings back mem many memories of Duncan, your Grey Warden mentor. Along with the hilt in peace, vigilance in war, victory in death, sacrifice. Wow. I can equip both of these myself, and it, it kind of would be ideal for me. I mean, ba since Duncan had these, he was basically a, a rogue. Hmm... The edge is a bit has a bit more damage, but uh, I do like the bonuses. I guess I'll switch out the um, these bonuses here, the runes. When I get back to camp, I'll have sand. I'll switch the runes for these. Give it to Duncan's dagger. And man, I love Starfang. Starfang is awesome. It's definitely better than Duncan's sword. But those other bonuses, hmm. Ooh, this is a tough decision. Do I go with the Duncan set, kind of a symbolic and story-based kind of, uh, you know, he would find these and he would use the, uh, he would use these in honor of Duncan. Hmm. Let me take a look how it looks. Yep. They lo they look pretty cool. Just gotta give them some runes. They e they each can take two runes. Ah oh, man. I mean, I could also give these maybe to, uh, maybe to Zevran? I don't remember how much strength he has to use Duncan's sword. For now, I guess I'll keep these. But, but, in terms of the story, it would be great for him to, uh, for my dwarf to use those, like, in honor of him. Kalen's helm, we got it, we got the final piece. There it is. The last of them. Mm -hmm. It has been a long day. By the lines around your eyes, I dare say you look as old as I. Huh. And if I may say so, milady, you appear to be getting younger by the day. <laughs> be careful who you flirt with, young man. <laughs> when you wake up beside me tomorrow morning, whoa. I'll be back whoa, to the whoa, 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 with your whoa. grandmother. <laughs> beside you. Oh, 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 you oh my goodness. Said. It would not be the first time I woke to a younger man in my bed. Hello. Oh, women this evil and conniving when they grow old. <laughs> Just me, my dear. <laughs> Just me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. Is there anything up here? Nope. Look at them all running around. <laughs> Alright, back we go. Great, back into the tunnel we go. Oh, well, at least there's a cutscene to skip it. Good. <laughs> so it's just gonna take us straight back to the bridge. There's one piece of business we gotta take care of. Just one last unfinished piece of business. Kalen. We can't just leave him strung up like that. It's not very fitting or respectful for a king. I know, Mikey. Alistair, are you all right? Oh, they left him here to rot. We need to do something. All right, so we get three choices. So two of these are pretty terrible. He's dead and gone. Let the Dark Spawn have their fun. Bring him down and leave him to the wolves. But this is the, mo the most appropriate. He is of royal blood and deserves a pyre. He was a good man who hoped too much and died too young. He deserves what little honor we can afford to grant him. Yep. Aww. Mikey howls mournfully. Alright, let's burn his body. Like Qui-Gon Jinn. Farewell, Caitlin. And 
just like and that was the return to Ostagar DLC. We have said a now given a proper goodbye to King Kalen. We found plenty of really nice uh, weapons and armor. Alistair can't wear it yet, but I will eventually have him wear that armor set. Oh, man. I'm still so conflicted about this. Well, first things first. Let's get back to camp. Because if I am going to switch, then I need to have Sandal do what he can with uh, enchanting them. Okay, back to camp we go. Come on. All right, we're back in camp. Enchantment? Mm-hmm. Enchantment! <laughs> He's always so happy. Especially when I say, when I tell him. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so he's got that now. Well, let's take that off. Let's go ahead and remove that from Asturian's Might. Zevran is using that. Hmm. I think Liliana has that, but she never uses it, so let's go ahead and just take that off. Paralysis, wind speed, fire damage, undead. Damage versus dark spawn. Doesn't have damage or dark spawn for that. Yeah. I may be giving up the damage that these things provide, but these are just, you know, it's it's, it's like there's some nostalgia and some, uh, you know, it would just kind of make sense that he would use use these in honor of Duncan. Duncan saved, saved his life and uh, was a good mentor to him and showed him kindness that others had not. So let's go ahead and remove these. Let's give this the... Uh, here we go. Damage versus Dark Spawn. Hmm. Fire damage. Damage versus undead. And this. Cold damage. Okay. Merrick's blade. Huh. Just so good. Fire damage. And. Resistance. There we go. go hmm. well he can actually use this the edge dagger there we go definitely better than beastman's dagger he needs night 31 strength hmm. he's got 20 strength great hmm I mean giving it to Sten there's really no point because he's never gonna use a sword and shield he's a two-handed uh, weapon guy so essentially the only ones that will would would ever use the sword would be me and Alistair unless I really do build up Zevran's uh, strength in fact, let me check if anyone needs to be leveled up, and it looks like a few people do. Mikey actually can be leveled up. Give him more constitution. More 
Morgan can be leveled up. Let's get rid of that, those. And let's, uh... Let's give her Blizzard. An amazing uh, ability. Sten. Definitely more strength. That's like his forte there. Hmm. Here we go. Another ability. Okay. So yeah, the dilemma I have when it comes to who uses Starfang, it's going to be really hard to uh, pass up having someone use that awesome sword. Ugh, I'm so conflicted. Uh, Starfang is just an awesome sword, but using the set of uh, Duncan's sword and dagger, it's just, it would it make sense that he, he would do that for story-wise. I'm, I think I may have to just, uh, look, it even gives boost to dexterity, so it actually would make sense for a rogue to do that, since dexterity is a big part. Hmm. I guess maybe I'll stash it away. Just, uh, take it to, um, to, uh, Soldier's Peak, and just keep it there until, it, until a time comes where I'm able to have, uh, Zevran use it. That to Liliana, those arrows. Yeah, see, she's got those, but she's never going to be using those weapons since she's primarily an archer. Hmm. Ooh, that's right, I can give these to Liliana. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Alright, I think I'm gonna stop here because I, I real I just realized this is probably really boring for you guys to see me be doing all this inventory management stuff. But so starting in the next part, let's see. What will we do next? Ooh. Wade might have enough time to make the armor. Oh, okay, so I guess we'll go uh, check how he's doing with our armor. And after that, I think what we may do... Uh, let's see. Hmm. I think before we head to Redcliffe as the next major quest we do, I think we will go here. We're not going to go into Orzammar. We're just going to go to the place outside the entrance of Orzammar just to find this guy Farron so we can find out what the deal is with uh, find out what's the deal with his sword. What's the deal with Stan's sword? That was, that was my Jerry Seinfeld. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking that we'll do next. Uh, we'll go check on what's going on with Stan's sword. We'll check on the Ar Drake Scale armor, and then we will head to Redcliffe to see what is going on with Arl Eamon and uh, why, what's going on with uh, him being sick. So, yeah, stay tuned for that.